What if your footage could instantly pop off the screen? Rich colors, perfect contrast, and that subtle cinematic glow you see in Hollywood films. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create exactly that, a cinematic vibrance look inside DaVinci Resolve. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Hollywood film look inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. First, we're here on the DaVinci Resolve interface. Before grading, I always start by setting up the project settings. Go to the bottom right corner and click Project Settings. Under Timeline Resolution, select 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Because our footage was recorded in 4K, so we'll match the project settings accordingly. Next, choose your timeline frame rate. I'll go with 24 frames per second for that cinematic motion. Keep the video resolution at 3840 by 2160 as well. Now move to the color management section on the left side. Set color science to DaVinci YRGB. Change the timeline color space from Rec.709 to DaVinci Intermediate, and set the output color space to Rec.709 Gamma 2.4. Once that's done, click Save. Now head over to the Edit page, open your media pool, and drag in your footage. Place it on the timeline. This is the clip we'll be grading. Save your project and give it any name you like. Next, go to the color page. You'll see one node here by default. Right-click and add one more serial node. Now rename them. Right-click the first node, node label, name it IN, this will be our input node. Right-click the second node, node labels, name it OUT, our output node. With the IN node selected, go to the effects panel and search for color space transform. Drag and drop it onto the node. Do the same for the OUT node, add another color space transform there as well. For the input node settings. Input color space Rec.709. Input gamut Rec.709. Output color space DaVinci Wide Gamut. Output gamut DaVinci Intermediate. Now for the output node. These settings bring our image back into standard Rec.709, so we get perfect color balance before grading. Without this step, your colors will always look off no matter how much you tweak them. Think of it as setting the foundation. Once this is right, every adjustment after this will look cleaner and more natural. Now, right-click the input node and add three serial nodes. Name them. First exposure. Second balance. Third contrast. Let's start with the contrast node. Go to the primaries color wheels at the bottom left. Here we have lift, gamma and gain controls. Lower the lift slightly to deepen the shadows. And raise the gain a bit to brighten the highlights. You can toggle the node to see the difference. It's looking good. Now move to the exposure node. Go to HDR color wheels and slightly decrease the global exposure. Adjust this according to your footage. Subtle changes make a big difference. Next, go to the contrast node again and open the curves. Lift the lower curve just a little from the bottom, that adds a soft filmic contrast. Now onto the balance node. Back to the primary's wheels. Push blue up slightly in the lift. Raise green a touch. And bring red down just a little. It might look too cool now, but don't worry we'll refine it. Then in Gamma balance the tones, reduce blue and green slightly, and lift red just a bit. Now check the before and after. Looking cinematic already. Next, right click after the output node and add a new node. We'll apply the film look creator here. Rename it to film look. Go to effects, search film look creator and drag it onto that node. Inside the effect, reset the preset to a clean slate. Now increase the film look blend depending on your footage. Change the core look from cinematic to Rochester for that authentic film tone. Scroll down and enable split toning, then slightly raise the amount and hue angle. Adjust by eye until it feels right. Go back up to color settings, increase fade, raise tint slightly, and boost bleach bypass a little. Then scroll down again and enable bloom. Increase the amount for a soft, dreamy glow. Now check the film look nodes before and after. Beautiful. Next, right-click the film look node and add a parallel node. Go to the color slice panel. Slightly increase red hue. And boost the depth slider to add richness to the tones. For the final polish, add one more serial node. Search soften and sharpen in effects. And drag sharpen onto it. Then, under global blend, reduce the blend amount to about half. This keeps details crisp without oversharpening. Now press Ctrl plus F for full screen and Ctrl plus D to toggle before and after. And that's it. We've created a stunning Hollywood film look in DaVinci Resolve. 
Now let's move on to our cinematic vibrance look. A brighter, more colorful style that adds life and depth to your footage. To make this faster, I'll start by grabbing a still from our previous grade, just right-click and save it. This will help us reuse the same setup and speed up the process. Now head over to the edit page and drag your new footage from the media pool onto the timeline. Here's the clip we'll be working on to create our vibrant cinematic style. Next, go to the color panel. On the top left side, open the gallery, right-click the previous still and apply it. As you can see, all our previous nodes and looks are now applied to this new clip. We'll turn off a few nodes that we don't need for this look. We'll reset the exposure, balance and contrast nodes to start fresh for our new vibrance look. At this point we have 5 active nodes. Alright everything's set up, now let's prepare our timeline for the next look. Now let's begin with the exposure node. Go to the primary's color wheels on the left side. Increase the gain slightly, then lift the gamma just a bit to brighten the mids. Next, lower the lift to bring back the shadows and create more depth. Check the before and after. It's already looking better. Now let's add a new serial node for saturation and rename it. Open the color slice panel and increase the saturation according to your footage. Then slightly push up the cyan tones, this adds a nice vibrant touch without overdoing it. Check the before and after. Looks cool rich and full of color. Next move to the contrast node. Go to the curves panel and create two control points. One near the highlights and one near the shadows. Push the top point slightly up and the bottom one down to add that cinematic S-curve contrast. Before and after. Nice punchy depth. Now, let's add a beautiful glow effect to enhance the lighting. Rename this node to Glow. Search for Glow in the Effects panel and drag it onto this node. Go to the settings and adjust the shine threshold. Just enough so the bright areas softly glow especially on the left side of the frame. It adds that dreamy cinematic light you see in professional films. Now, slightly adjust the spread and gain to balance the glow intensity. Check the before and after. This looks stunning. Finally, press Ctrl plus F for full screen, and Ctrl plus D to toggle before and after. And see how much of a difference our grading has made. This is our cinematic vibrance look. Rich, glowing and full of life. Now let's create a still of this look for future use. Go to the gallery and you'll now see two saved looks. The Hollywood film look and our cinematic vibrance look. And that's it, our color grading setup is complete. And that's how we created our cinematic vibrance look. Transforming a flat image into something truly filmic and full of life. Try this grade on your own footage and see the magic happen. If you learned something new today make sure to like, share and subscribe to Visual Nova, your home for creative color grading and cinematic tutorials.